Has it ever occurred to you why certain individuals simply irritate you? Might it be that they are empaths of Sigma? Now, if you're scratching your head and wondering what in the world a Sigma empath is, don't worry, you're not alone. Sigma males are like the Bigfoot of the social hierarchy, elusive, mysterious, and a little bit intimidating. They're the lone wolves, the ones who stray from the pack and march to the beat of their own drum. They don't need validation from others. They're self-sufficient and quite content to live life on their own terms. Then we have empaths. These are the folks who feel everything deeply. They're like human sponges, absorbing the emotions of those around them. It's like having a superpower, but instead of shooting webs from their hands or flying, they get to experience the full spectrum of human emotions, often all at once. It's a tough gig, but someone's got to do it, right? Now imagine combining these two traits into one person. That's right, a Sigma empath is like a supercharged version of Bigfoot. They're like the Loch Ness monster on steroids. They're the enigmatic, deeply feeling, fiercely independent individuals who are both intriguing and somewhat daunting to interact with. To put it lightly, Sigma empaths are like an intricate puzzle. They're fascinating, but they can also be incredibly difficult to understand. They're like a Rubik's Cube that you just can't seem to solve no matter how many times you twist and turn it. But don't worry, we're not here to leave you in the dark. In fact, we're going to shine a light on this enigma to help you understand why interacting with a Sigma empath can be a bit of a challenge. Through the next scenes, we're going to explore seven reasons why keeping your distance from these unique individuals might just be the best strategy. So buckle up, because we're about to embark on a journey into the intricate world of Sigma empaths. It's going to be a wild ride, but we promise it'll be worth it. Let's dive into the seven reasons why keeping your distance might be the best strategy. Ever tried inviting a hermit crab out of its shell for a party? That's what interacting with a Sigma empath feels like. Imagine for a moment, trying to coax a hermit crab out of its shell with the promise of a good time. You're more likely to see a horse tap dance than have that hermit crab join the fun. That's because much like our crustacean friend, Sigma males are introverted by nature. They prefer the comforting solitude of their own company, which is why they've earned the moniker of the lone wolf. No, it's not because they howl at the moon or have an inexplicable craving for steak. It's because they thrive in solitude. They're the guys who would rather read a book than hit the club or enjoy a quiet walk instead of a noisy party. But here's the thing, this lone wolf syndrome, as we like to call it, can create some serious communication barriers. It's not that Sigma males don't want to engage or interact. It's just that they do so on their own terms. They're not keen on small talk or meaningless chit chat. They prefer deep, meaningful conversations, the kind that most people might find too intense or draining. And here's the kicker. If you're someone who thrives on social interaction, this can feel like you're trying to crack a code without a cipher. You see, Sigma males don't wear their hearts on their sleeves. They are masters of the internal world, their feelings and thoughts tucked safely within the confines of their minds. Trying to decipher these enigmatic individuals can be as challenging as solving a Rubik's Cube blindfolded. And while that might sound exciting to some, it can be exhausting for others. So, if socializing for you is about lighthearted banter and friendly small talk, interacting with a Sigma male might feel like an uphill battle. It's like trying to invite a hermit crab to a party. You might eventually coax them out, but it's going to take a lot of effort and patience. So if you're not into playing hide-and-seek, you might want to steer clear. Ever felt like you're an emotional buffet and someone's having an all-you-can-eat? Welcome to the world of Sigma Empaths. Take a moment and imagine this scenario. You're at a grand feast, surrounded by a spread of emotions instead of food. There's happiness, sadness, anger, and everything in between, all laid out in heaping platters. Now imagine someone walking in, plate in hand, ready to sample everything on offer. This is essentially how a Sigma Empath operates. These individuals have an uncanny ability to absorb the emotions around them, much like a sponge soaking up water. But we're not talking about a regular sponge here. Oh no, this is a sponge with a twist. It's one that not only absorbs the water, but also experiences it, feels its temperature, its texture, its very essence. 
That's what being a Sigma empath is like. They take in the emotional climate of their surroundings and experience it as their own. Let's add a dash of humor to this. Picture the Sigma empath as a visitor at an all-you-can-eat emotional buffet. They're piling their plate high with joy, sprinkling in a little anger, maybe adding a side of anxiety and topping it off with a generous helping of your excitement about the new season of your favorite TV show. Yes, they can sense that too. But it's not all fun and games at this buffet. The emotional sponge trait of Sigma empaths can be quite draining for them and for those around them as well. It's like having someone constantly taking bites out of your emotional pie. And let's be honest, that can feel a bit intrusive at times. So if you're the kind of person who likes to keep their emotional plate to themselves, interacting with a Sigma empath might be a bit of a challenge. They're going to sense your emotions, experience them, and in some cases, even mirror them. And while this can lead to a deep understanding and connection, it can also feel a bit overwhelming. If you're not up for sharing your emotional plate, it might be best to pass on the Sigma empath. Ever tried to herd cats? That's what trying to influence a Sigma empath feels like. Now imagine for a moment, a cat. Independent, curious, and seemingly immune to persuasion, a cat does exactly what it wants, when it wants. This is not far from the Sigma empath's modus operandi. You see, Sigma males have a fiercely independent streak. It's not that they're rebellious or contrarian for the sake of it. They just prefer to live life on their own terms, without the constraints of societal norms and expectations. They are the architects of their own lives, building their world brick by brick, based on their own rules and standards. This independent streak extends to their emotional lives, too. Sigma empaths don't like to be swayed by the emotional tides of others. They have an uncanny ability to remain emotionally detached while still being deeply empathetic. This can be somewhat of a paradox to those who don't understand them. But there's a humorous side to this as well. Trying to change a Sigma male's mind is akin to convincing a cat to fetch a ball. It's an exercise in futility that often leads to frustration. They're not being stubborn. They're just being Sigma. So if you're the type who likes to be in control, to hold the reins in relationships, dealing with a Sigma empath can be a bit of a challenge. You can't mold them into something they're not. You can't steer them in a direction they don't want to go. They are the masters of their own ships, navigating the seas of life with a compass that points to their own true north. Their independence can be inspiring, but also intimidating. It requires a certain level of understanding and acceptance. You have to learn to let them be, to respect their space and their autonomy. It's a dance of give and take, where sometimes you have to let them lead. In conclusion, Sigma empaths, much like cats, march to the beat of their own drum. They're not easily swayed, controlled, or influenced. They are fiercely independent, emotionally detached, yet deeply empathetic. If you prefer your relationships more dog-like, the Sigma empath might not be your best bet. Ever tried predicting the weather without a forecast? That's what dealing with a Sigma empath can be like. Imagine this, you're out in the open, the sun is shining, and there's not a cloud in sight. You're basking in the warmth, absorbing the beauty of the day. Then, out of nowhere, a gust of wind sweeps across the field. The sky darkens, and before you know it, you're drenched in a sudden downpour. Welcome to the world of Sigma empaths. Sigma empaths are the meteorologist's nightmare of the personality world. They're as unpredictable as a midsummer thunderstorm and just as electrifying. One moment, they're the life of the party, sharing their energy and enthusiasm with everyone around them. The next, they're retreating into their shells, seeking solitude and introspection. This unpredictability isn't due to any form of insincerity or fickleness. No, it's a natural outcome of the Sigma empath's deep sensitivity and their constant internal processing of emotions. Like a weather vane shifting with the wind, they respond to the subtlest changes in their emotional environment. Now, for those of us who prefer the predictability of a sunny day, this can be a bit unsettling. It's like going for a picnic and you've packed for a sunny day. You've got your sun hat, your sunscreen, your picnic blanket, but then suddenly, it starts to snow. The Sigma Empath's unpredictability can leave us shivering in our summer clothes. 
wondering what in the world just happened. Their unpredictability can make it challenging to understand or anticipate their needs. It's like trying to pack an umbrella, a snow shovel, and a sun hat all at once. You're never quite sure what the emotional weather will be like. Yet, this unpredictability is also what makes Sigma empaths so fascinating. They're full of surprises, and each interaction with them can feel like a new adventure. So if you're someone who likes their days sunny and predictable, dealing with a Sigma empath can be like trying to predict the weather without a forecast. If you're not a fan of surprises, you might want to keep your umbrella handy, or better yet, avoid the Sigma empath storm. Ever felt like you're in a chess match and you don't know the rules? That's a conversation with a Sigma empath. Welcome to the world of Sigma empaths, where mental gymnastics is an Olympic sport and intellectual prowess is the gold medal. Their minds are like a vast library, filled with an overwhelming array of knowledge, insights, and wisdom. They are the intellectual Einsteins of the social world, operating on a level that can be mind-boggling for some. Imagine you're playing a game of chess. You're familiar with the basics, but you've never really mastered the game. You know the moves, but not the strategies. And then you're up against a grandmaster. They're making moves that you can't even comprehend, let alone counter. That's a conversation with a Sigma empath. Their minds are constantly active, analyzing, processing, and observing. They have an uncanny ability to connect the dots, to see patterns and relationships that others overlook. They are the philosophers, the deep thinkers, the ones who can discuss quantum physics at breakfast and ancient Greek philosophy at dinner. But here's the funny part. You probably won't even realize you're in a chess match. Sigma empaths are so adept at steering conversations, at guiding you down intellectual rabbit holes, that you might not even notice until you're lost in a wonderland of thoughts and ideas. And while this intellectual intensity can be incredibly engaging for those who love a good mental workout, it can also be overwhelming. It's like trying to keep up with a sprinter when you're used to a leisurely walk in the park. It's not for everyone. So, if you're the type who prefers a quick game of checkers over an intense battle of chess, if you feel more at home with small talk rather than deep, philosophical discussions, then you might want to reconsider engaging with a Sigma empath. Because remember, in the world of Sigma empaths, every conversation is a potential chess match, and they're always playing to win. If you prefer checkers over chess, you might want to rethink engaging with a Sigma empath. Ever been intrigued by a mystery novel but found it exhausting after a while? That's your relationship with a Sigma empath. Picture this. You've just picked up a new mystery novel. The cover art is intriguing. The blurb on the back has you hooked, and you can't wait to dive into the story. The first few chapters are filled with suspense and intrigue. Every page is a new puzzle, a new piece of the larger mystery. But as you get deeper into the book, the constant twists and turns start to wear you down. The plot becomes more convoluted, the characters more enigmatic, and you're left feeling drained, overwhelmed, and a bit frustrated. Now imagine that book is a person. That's a Sigma empath for you. They're the human equivalent of a captivating mystery novel. At first, their enigmatic nature is intriguing. You're drawn in by their depth, their complexity, and their independent spirit. You're curious to uncover the layers beneath their quiet exterior, and get to know the real person hiding underneath. But here's the catch. Like a mystery novel, The Sigma Empath isn't an easy read. Their thoughts and feelings are hidden deep within, and they don't reveal them easily. They're a labyrinth of emotions and experiences, and navigating that labyrinth can be both fascinating and exhausting. Their mysterious nature can be a double-edged sword. On one hand, it makes them incredibly interesting. They're not your typical run-of-the-mill type of person. They're unique, they're different, and they're not afraid to walk their own path. But on the other hand, their enigmatic personality can be draining. It's like trying to solve a puzzle that keeps changing, a riddle with no clear answer. And let's not forget, they're not just mysterious, they're also empaths. That means they're deeply sensitive to the emotions of others, which adds another layer of complexity to their personality. It's like trying to read a mystery novel in a foreign language. So, if you're not up for a lifetime of solving riddles, you might want to close the Sigma Empath book, but if you're up for the challenge, then buckle up. It's going to be a wild ride, 
If you're not up for a lifetime of solving riddles, you might want to close the Sigma Empath book. Ever tried walking on eggshells without making a sound? That's what interacting with a Sigma Empath feels like. You see, Sigma Empaths are the human equivalent of a highly sophisticated alarm system. They are so finely tuned to the emotional frequency of their environment that even the slightest hint of negative energy sends their senses into overdrive. Imagine being in a room where the air conditioner is humming, but all you can hear is the whispering of the ants in the corner. That's life for a Sigma empath, always sensing, always feeling. Now you might be thinking, well, that sounds like a superpower. And in some ways, it could be if it weren't for the emotional toll it takes. Sigma empaths don't just sense emotions, they absorb them. They take on the joy, the pain, the stress, the excitement, all of it. It's like being a sponge, but instead of soaking up water, they're soaking up feelings. So when you're dealing with a Sigma empath, you're not just dealing with their emotions, but potentially the emotions of everyone they've interacted with that day. It's like walking into a room and suddenly finding yourself in the middle of a soap opera, except you missed the first five seasons and have no idea what's going on. Interacting with a Sigma empath requires a level of emotional intelligence and care that not everyone possesses. It's like trying to navigate a minefield while wearing clown shoes. One wrong move, one misplaced emotion, and boom, you've triggered an emotional avalanche. And let's not forget about the emotional exhaustion that comes with being around a Sigma empath. It's like running an emotional marathon, only there's no finish line, no cheering crowd, just you trying to keep up with the emotional roller coaster that is a Sigma empath. So, for those who prefer a more straightforward, less emotionally fraught interaction, dealing with a Sigma empath might feel like trying to thread a needle while riding a unicycle. If you're more of a stomp than a tiptoe, the Sigma empath might not be your cup of tea. So, ready to play hide and seek with the hermit crab, or would you rather avoid the emotional buffet? As you ponder this question, let's revisit the seven compelling reasons we've discussed about why you might want to steer clear from interacting with a Sigma empath. Firstly, we dived into the enigmatic lone wolf syndrome. Sigma empaths, much like their animal counterpart, prefer solitary journeys. This can make it quite challenging to build relationships with them. If you're not a fan of chasing shadows, this might not be the game for you. Next, we discussed the emotional sponge phenomenon. Sigma empaths absorb emotions like a sponge soaks up water. If you're not ready for a full-blown emotional roller coaster ride, you may want to think twice before jumping into this whirlpool of feelings. Our third point delved into their independence streak. Sigma empaths value their freedom above all else. If you thought codependence was a tricky beast, wait till you encounter the wild stallion of independence. Then, we explored the unpredictability factor. With a Sigma empath, you never really know what the next moment holds. That's like living in a constant state of choose your own adventure. If you're not one for surprises, this could be a hard pass. Reason five was the intense intellect. Sigma empaths are deep thinkers which can make casual conversations turn into existential debates. If you thought discussing the weather was a safe bet, think again. The mystery magnet was our sixth reason. The allure of the unknown is strong with Sigma empaths. But remember, mysteries are fun until you're stuck in a labyrinth with no exit in sight. Finally, we touched upon the sensitive soul. Sigma empaths feel deeply, and this can sometimes lead to overwhelming emotions. If you're not ready to dive into the deep end, it's best to stay in the shallow waters. Remember, every interaction is a chance for learning. But if you're not up for a challenge, it's okay to pass on the Sigma Empath test. After all, not everyone is cut out to navigate the labyrinth of a Sigma Empath's mind.